As a small YouTuber, I spend a decent amount of time on YouTube-related subreddits. But if you've ever been on one yourself, the first thing you probably noticed is the rampant self-promotion spam. Basically, it's when a YouTuber takes a shotgun approach to marketing, and posts their video anywhere without an auto-mod. It's not uncommon to see videos shared 6, 10, 19 different places, or Reddit accounts consisting entirely of YouTube links. But does any of this actually work? Self-promo spam is unequivocally banned by Reddit. Most subs require you to adhere to a strict 10% self-promo cap, if they let you self-promote at all. But for most people posting 40 plus times a week, making 360 other posts just isn't viable. Even if users aren't hit with the ban hammer, any remotely popular sub will moderate out their posts, which turns many users to link sharing subs instead. Despite the risk of permanent Reddit bans, some of the more popular subs have retained tens of thousands of active users and have hundreds of daily posts. But for all the trouble they go through, do any of these practices actually work? Can you really create a community based solely on the desire to self-promote? And is it really worth losing access to the rest of Reddit? Opinions on them are mixed, to say the least. But results? Those are objective. So I set out to take 10 of the most popular self-promotion subreddits and directly measure their traffic against a single post on a relevant sub. But to do that, I would have to join the ranks and become a link- I'm just kidding. I'm far too pretty for internet jail. This is all above board. I posted a lot of yul memes. Now, one of my earliest videos was a GTA 5 joke video, which I exclusively promoted on the GTA 5 PC subreddit making it an ideal candidate. All of my external traffic came from posting to a single relevant subreddit. And at 74% of my total, it accounted for roughly 300 views, and the video averaged a 52% watch percentage. Now simply posting links to the video on self-promotion subreddits would just result in a garbled mess of data. And since these subs vary so wildly in activity, measuring the exact traffic from each sub felt like a crucial step. For my experiment, I uploaded unlisted versions of the same video, title, and thumbnail five times, with minor variations in the length at the end to get around YouTube's upload restrictions. I then set out to post one link to each sub over the course of two days, which would give the videos one full day of self-promotion, which is more than the typical lifespan of these posts. I decided to make a completely fresh YouTube account for total objectivity, and if you haven't liked or subscribed yet, this would be a great time, because I only realized you can't upload custom thumbnails without a verified account after my brother lost his phone for the hundredth time. And then I had to go to a phone number site, pasted it incorrectly, filled out the boxes, got a code, it was a whole thing. Now once everything was uploaded, I assigned two subs to each video, made my posts, and waited. Alrighty then, let's see how it's worked so far. Probably racking in those views. Shit, I'm at one! <laughs> what? How? One external view? Okay. <laughs> okay. So wait, where is this view from? External. Okay, so not from being public. Alrighty then, so we have our stats so far. YouTube Gamers got me one view. Um, Advertise YouTube uh, got me one view. And uh, Get More Views YouTube got me what I can only assume is a view bot because <laughs> this is like an exact clone of Tom. <laughs> so, okay. Um, so five Reddit posts, three views, one 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 is w of which is a view bot, and um, I think it's fair to say that this experiment it clearly demonstrates that this is a failure. But um, I'm not gonna fold just yet. I did say I'd do ten, so <laughs> time to post more eel memes and post on these other subreddits. Hopefully you'll have better luck. Higher. Fun. Oh! Helpful advice! So that guy... Oh, I spelled that wrong. That- so, you know, you will get one helpful comment if you go to Advertise YouTube, maybe. Shout out to this dude. Oh! 
all, and I get to check out his channel. This is fun. This is this was so unexpected. So you may know Mr. Beast. Well, if of you don't, course. He does challenges with people and gives people lots of money. I, okay. I don't have lots wow. of money. Wow. But I still need. All right. Is there anything I can get you guys to uh, keep you in? I'm so glad I posted to a self promotion subreddit. You just exposed so much quality content. Jesus. Okay, so if this was a real science experiment, I would go back and like check which one I messed up. But I, uh, I wrote it all on a sticky note, and I think with the amount of views, we'll just combine them, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll divide the zero by three, how about that? Infinity bitches. Moment of truth. Six whole views. Wow. Truly impressive. I'm glad I posted to 10 different subreddits. Um, originally I was gonna make like a graph, but I don't really think there's enough data for a graph. So, so in the end, nothing from YouTube promo or YouTube promoter. Got one from YouTube gamers and two from YouTube startups and a like. So, you know, that engagement. <laughs> YouTube views also gave me one. You can see how they're separated there. And a 13% audience retention. Wait, no, one of them was channel pages. I take it back. Uh, YouTube, YouTube views gave me nothing. <laughs> it was because I wanted to see if anyone would naturally see this. And, oh, it's actu an actual comment. Good for you, dude. Shout out, you actually watch other people's videos on those subreddits. Meanwhile, this man wrote a full letter. Hi, I have checked out your channel and I have subscribed to you for my alternate account. Fully watched and liked your most recent video. Subscriber number one. Video like number one. Would you mind subscribing to this channel below? Let's help each other grow. Okay, so you also get one sub for sub offer. <laughs> Forgot to include that in the package. Um. If you already subscribed, support me by fully watching and liking the most recent videos here. Any likes and comments and watch time on videos will be returned. How do you even measure that, bro? <laughs> he is a recent video. Oh my god, his five most recent Let's Plays. Part 60 to 64 of Borderlands. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's so many parts. Hopes to hear back from me. Thank you. This is a full-on letter. This man put effort into his spam. <laughs> oh god, and they're all auto-generated thumbnails. I know I know this isn't a real test. I only posted to 10 subreddits. There's plenty more link dumping subreddits, and it's only with one video. But that's the result a lot of videos only subreddits have also gotten. Right? Like these aren't targeted. You're sending them to 11 other communities, mostly of people who do not want to watch your content. They want to promote their own content. And not everyone using these subreddits is spamming. But even if you're not using them to spam, it's still pretty useless to you. Because there are better places to promote your content. Because you're using up whatever self-promotion space you have on something that will have literally no return. Now obviously an ideal experiment would have included multiple types of videos from different genres, but I think the results would have been basically the same. All these subs are just collections of completely unrelated videos. There's no cohesive audience that this could possibly appeal to, and that leaves link dumpers as the only real users. If you've ever link dumped yourself, just ask this, have you ever stopped to browse other people's videos? And once again, this says nothing about the quality of videos or people creating them. This is such a common practice that many YouTubers don't realize it's wrong. But regardless of how good a video is, for it to get views, it needs to be shown to people who actually want to watch them. Reddit's view on self-promo tends to be summarized as such. It's perfectly fine to be a Redditor with a website. It's not okay to be a website with a Reddit account. Confectious. I hope. I'm bad at pronouncing things. If you're promoting your own content, it's your job to make it for an audience, not Reddit's job to give you one. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
I hope I changed some minds, or at least better explained how all of this works. My regular content consists more of skits and video essays, but if you like these informative videos, tell me down in the comments below. Sub for more great original content, and I'll catch you guys next time. Like you know they do. Oh, you've sacrificed some time to see me bleeding through.